how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. So here it is. Eternal downfall of Dark Side Phil. Uh, I received an insanely generous $100 tip from Bohe Pans. Another $100 tip from Bohe Pans. He's is it a whale? It is a whale, because it has those whale-like teeth that filter things. It looks like cones. He's got a big old eyeball. I had no idea that those search engines existed. That's pretty insane, huh? So you can search all of my video content for 16 years and look for words that I've said? Who the hell has had that created, right? Like, huh? His aggression. Quote, yes. I see it every day in my town. These little fucking wimps who call themselves quote unquote thugs and pretend they're quote unquote tough mofos. Well, if I ever get into a fight with one of them, hand to hand, I guarantee you I'll be the one standing Why? afterwards. This is, this is, it's so dumb. It's 100% e-thuggery as they call it. They pull a gun on me? I hope they have pretty good aim because if they don't hit me with the first shot, I'll wow. have already punctured the windpipe and ended their life. Because uh, as you know, I had much practice with this. I, like, I wonder how old I was when I posted that. I was like 17 years old. I was just walking down the streets of Bridgeport, Connecticut, just shanking people's necks left and right like this. I was so fast, they couldn't even see me move. They actually called me the Flash because I was just zoop, 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 zoop. <laughs> I was an idiot. I mean, this is so stupid. I was a complete asshole online. Unquote. Back then, I didn't understand that the stuff that I was doing online was actually causing people, like, pain, and they felt harassed and shit. I thought it was fun and funny, and that people were liking it because of the hype that it was bringing to tournaments. I had no intention of ever going and fighting someone at a tournament. Some of these people did. Jaha is infamous. He's had all these different run-ins and altercations at Street Fighter tournaments where he's gotten in people's faces. At one point, there's rumors he hung people over balconies by their feet. Like, he's fucking done messed up stuff like that. And he, every, so he has to get involved. I didn't talk any shit about this man. In this case, I can't speak for anything else Jaha has ever done. In this case, Jaha was 100% in the right. I'm going to say this publicly. Now, when I look back at my behavior back then, I'm embarrassed. Man, your toxicity is embarrassing to the human race. It was, it was dumb. Why are we talking about wanting to fight people? at a fucking fighting game tournament. Why am I saying I'm gonna stab people at- well, I didn't say I was gonna stab anyone at a tournament, but I was talking big like I was an online e -thug big shot. Why am I gonna say I'm gonna throw someone in the trash can? It's dumb. It's stupid. People just wanna fucking play fighting games. They don't wanna have stress and drama and shit going on. It's about all on me. In, in real life, didn't wanna fight, so why are you talking like that online? That's bitch mode shit. DSP was able to defuse the situation by paying Shady K, Jaha's friend, $10. They arrived to that amount from a money match that was meant to go 10 rounds for a total of $100. That's what was shown. That was the first match of the 10 round money match and it never happened. So then he's like, pay $10. What? Okay. And I took $10 and I threw it on the floor. Right? And then he yelled at me for throwing it on the floor. How dare you throw that on the floor? Okay. But since it was cut short due to time limitations, and DSP only fought and lost a single match, Jaha and his crew were able to swindle those $10 that DSP had no obligation to pay. But even then, it was cheaper than a trip to the hospital. As for- You could say that, but here's the truth. If anything had happened, do you understand how bad that would have been for the fighting game community? <gasps> oh my god! His words and his culture did not resonate within the fighting game community. Even so, he petitioned for financial support, supposedly to run the website, while also complaining about the lack of users. Despite a clear lack of support, Phil went- Actually, like I said, I got a, I had a huge mailing list. It's just that no one was supporting the site or anything. I was paying for it out of pocket, you know? It wasn't like, oh, send me a ton of money to keep blogging or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure that I did ask for, like, some contributions to pay for the web server or something like that. Bloody threads created by Phil to promote impact that included fundraising, brainstorming ideas, and other items meant to trigger discussion, on average, would have at most a single other response. Right. That was also the only respondent to the majority of Phil's posts. Even threads discussing how much Phil sucked garnered more attention on his <laughs> website than impact. Top haters- Yes, because, again, this wasn't serious. I never- the entire site was a troll attempt, you understand? Like, the whole thing was a big troll op. And- the whole idea that I was going to run a tournament to compete with Evo? How? 
I'm Small Potatoes. The biggest fucking troll of the FGC beat them all. Da! <laughs> you cannot delete this screen. It is there forever. There I am, fourth place. Wow. And that's why they all hate me. They can't stay. They, the, the biggest troll actually was the best player that year. Dude, they got fucking crushed. Fucking ran him down in uh, Evo West. You know, we didn't even fucking wait to get outside. Watson just fucking went up to him in the fucking, in the arcade hall and just told him, dude, why the fuck you talking shit? He did? No, I don't think so. I don't think that happened. I think that was in a, it was in a parking lot, actually. At the snap, blah, blah, blah. And he just didn't even want to face this. Like, he just kept on, like, powering away, looking away, and just being fucking quiet, this and that. And just fucking scared shitless. And we're fucking following him around, dude. Like, what the fuck's your problem? And, uh, you know, Watson is a forgiving guy. So he just fucking pretty much got to the point where he made him apologize. This guy's a bitch. That's not what happened whatsoever. You want to know the full story? I'll tell you the full story. I've already told the full story, but I'll tell it again. Okay? And you went and you got into a big argument with Mike Watson in the MIRC chat. And everyone just sat back with popcorn eating while you guys were going at it. And it was just like personal insult after personal insult after personal insult. All right. And I was like, seriously? Like, I do not remember this whatsoever. We were, I was walking back to the parking lot with Vizant, Jay Snyder. Okay. We were together, Viscant. And he would, because remember, I was staying with him. So he was going to drive me back to his place. Now, I don't know if this was a setup or not. Sometimes I do suspect that maybe it was a setup and they, had, they were in cahoots with him or something. But all of a sudden, already like in the parking lot or right there coming around the corner was Mike Watson and Jaha. Okay? Now, I don't understand why Jaha had to be involved. This had nothing to do with him. This was between me and Mike Watson, but Jaha was involved. Okay? So Mike Watson gets in my face. And he's basically saying, why did you talk all this shit online and why did you do this? And I'm like, dude, like literally I'm like, I actually have no idea what you're talking about. I really don't. And when he really got in my face and he goes, well, why? Do, I don't understand. How could you not know? I said, I admitted to him right there. I said, dude, I'm an alcoholic. Every night I drink and I just go online. And I act like an asshole. So I actually have no clue what you're talking about. I apologize if I said something personal that really pissed you off. And then it was basically like Jaha was getting in my face. And he was like, well, I'm going to fuck you up anyway. And I said, and I said, no, I said, if you're going to do it, go ahead. And I put my hands behind my back just like this. And I said, if you want to fuck me up, go for it. You have the right, I guess, because I don't know what I even said, right? I really have no clue. People trying to play as the victim. Yeah, well, that's what it is. They, they do something bad, but then they realize, oh, shit, maybe we went over the line and we're going to get in trouble for it. Oh, quick, let's try to flip it so that we're innocent. It's called, uh, you know, defense mode, panic mode for people who know that they screwed up. So go ahead and beat my ass. I'm not going to defend myself. Go ahead and, and beat me up. And I just stood there like this. And basically the two of them were like shocked that I did this. Because they thought I was going to try to fight them or something. Right? And then after that they were like, well don't fucking ever do that again. And blah, blah, blah. And I said, alright. Whatever. I don't know. You know, again, I'm sorry. I don't, I really have no clue what I've done. <laughs> wow. I admitted it to him right there. I was like, I'm an alcoholic. I drink too much all the time. And I just can't control myself when I do it. And I, you know, at that point I actually started crying. Because mm -hmm. I felt so bad about everything that I had done and how stupid I was as a person. Yep. I can immediately stir up crocodile tears on a moment's notice. And fa every time I've ever cried in a video game playthrough or stream is fake. Everyone knows that. You guys remember the whole thing with DSP and like, like with the West Coast people where they almost like, he, he was like really scared because he was about to get beat up. I heard he was like crying and everything. So that was pretty, <laughs> pretty funny. Why are you, so, so here's the truth of the matter. Sorry, because I, I got distracted here. Here's the truth of the matter. Why are you joking? If you knew the, the real story, that the reason that I was crying is because I was embarrassed because I was an alcoholic and I couldn't control myself and I was apparently doing things I couldn't even remember. I mean, that's blackout drunk, that you don't remember what you did when you're drunk. And that's why I was crying because I was so upset with myself that, you know, that's not something to laugh at. That's not something to make fun of. That's a serious issue. Oh, ha ha ha. Phil cried. And even, do you even know what happened? Were you there? If you weren't, th then shut the fuck up. No one needs to hear your dumb, uninformed fucking opinion, Justin. Oh, you're gonna get salt, 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 salt. It's oh, even now, get my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. Ha ha ha! So funny, DSP cried. Oh, I'm sure I could find shit about anyone in the FGC, and I could laugh at you too. But at this point, this was an interview done with Justin. Again, I wasn't part of the FGC. I was actually becoming a popular YouTuber, and the whole FGC turned against me. And wanted to fucking shit on me because I was popular on YouTube and they were nowhere near as popular on YouTube. So everyone wants to drop my name and talk shit about me. You remember when he cried? Remember that? How did you know? You weren't there. 
There's no video footage of it. No one spoke of it. How the fuck would you possibly know? You don't know shit. If you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, keep your fucking mouth shut. Because then, years later, I'll talk about it during my documentary. All people will see my react, and you look like a jackass. So, Justin, guess what? You owe me a fucking apology. You really do. Now, I've talked shit about you in your game and shit like that. I didn't make any personal attacks against you. This is a pretty fucked up personal attack, and I think you should apologize to me. I don't think you will, but I do think you owe me an apology. There's the salt. The delicious salt. So DSP's mm -hmm. work experience, nor his educational background, was related to his current position. The only thing that was, was his father who had been working at the company, and it is understood that DSP secured his position due to nepotism. Wrong. Completely wrong. And there's no evidence to that whatsoever. No one will ever have evidence of that. Um, my business degree got me a job right out of college at a, uh, lender. It was called Wells Fargo Financial, and I worked there for a year. And after working there for a year, I was incredibly unhappy. I felt like I was being mistreated. Quote, oh, no. I've been called fat, ignorant, stupid, scrub, loud, obnoxious, disrespectful, belligerent, inciting troll, asshole, worthless. But I've also been called entertaining by 70 million people. You be the judge. I'll be banned by the time you read this. <laughs> this could be found on SRK. And That's if even great. possible, further soured Phil's image in the rest of the Street Fighter community. Look at him now. I mean, he just... 20,000 20, idiots are subscribed to him. That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations with your YouTube channel and uh, hope you enjoy your life, bro. I mean, it's a, it's a great victory. PlayStation 1 Super Turbo Champion. You, you know, take, that, take that to your grave, bro. Good luck. Yeah, and the hilarious part again, I'd already beaten him in tournaments after this, or after that, but this is him seething that I'm popular on YouTube and the FGC is not. The cooking mishaps that were perplexing. Save this thing. <laughs> He even shows this, me pouring the grease down in the toilet and destroying the pipes. He shows this. That's hilarious. Do it with bacon grease. Yes. Oh, yeah. Destroy the pipes. Hot fucking potatoes. <laughs> in November, he made an exorbitant amount of money. Yes. That first month. I'm. Thank you, J Rock. Five gifted memberships to the community. I appreciate that. Made $18,000. In the first half of December, Phil made another $13,000, though it is unclear if YouTube actually paid it out. Regardless, if what Phil says is true about him making around $200 on average in the prior months, then he was now making 100 times more. Yes. This was unsustainable. Mid-December, I get a message from YouTube. Dear Mr. Burnell, we have detected invalid clicking activity on your videos. Therefore, as a result of said activity, we are suspending. We're not turning off we're not completely removing we are suspending your adsense account phil claims that this increase in click activity was due to viewers feeling bad for him not considering that the average person does not know how youtubers make their money i publicly admitted this was my fault i said you know if you want to help yeah you know you can click on ads and stuff like that well guess what i said that in that video and that video stayed live for like either like around a year because again if it was 2009 it was over a year if it was 2010 it was like a year okay at the end of 2010 that december that's when youtube said they detected invalid click activity on my videos and and suspended my adsense what got me demonetized is i lost my job my fans felt bad and they went and did that despite me never asking them to do that they did it anyway because they felt bad and then because it was such an overabundance of that YouTube said, that's not valid, obviously. You're not intended to get that much engagement with ads on YouTube. That's, you know, obviously they can't keep paying me that much money a month. They're going to pay me $18,000 a month for a little rinky-dink channel doing vlogs. Of course they're not. So they turned it off. But it wasn't anything I did. It was not me saying it in this video, because this video was live at least a year before they turned off my ads, and no action was taken. It was the actual increase in ad revenue that happened out of nowhere when I lost my job that got the action taken. I just want to say thanks a lot to everyone. Um, I hope to entertain you in the future. Please go to my partner channel, The King of Hate HD, and click on the ads that show up on the videos. This is what happens when you let the Jews do whatever they want. <laughs> You've let the Jews overrun space, and now look at this. Their greed has had the artifact turn everyone into necromorphs. So now I, the last remaining Nazi, must exterminate them. Hello, Jew. Phil, role-playing as the last surviving space Nazi, did not translate well to his audience that quickly reported his anti-Semitic jokes. Unlike YouTube, Blip.tv sought to purge Phil and ban him from the platform. He was lacking a significant other. Quote, now for my favorite uh, part of the know, story. I actually think we should, we should maybe end it here because this might be a big arc. How long is this segment? Oh, it's not long.
It's only like four minutes. Oh, we can do it then. Let's do that. I'm trying to find the right time to stop here. If this is only four minutes, we can do this. My sweet Waffle Philip. I met him in November 2011 online, YouTube actually, while he was and currently is making video game playthroughs. We're still going strong despite some hurdles. The biggest one is other people. We are a May-December romance. He is 11 years older, but it makes our bonds even stronger. He is so supportive of my cra- What is this? I guess she had a blog. I didn't even know she had this. She had a blog? Oh. I had no idea that she had a vlog. I've never seen this before. <laughs> well, go figure. Oh god, you gotta wonder what's in there. I wonder if he found shit I've never- I had no idea she had this. Crafty ways, Holy even shit. if he doesn't understand half of it. We're even planning and oh taking boy. steps to opening our own online bath beauty business. But moving in together comes first, because he lives in Connecticut. Told you we have hurdles, but that's all for now. I'm sure everyone will get to know me well soon enough. I can't wait to learn and share and confide in what seems like such great people. Smiley face. Unquote. That was from a future post created by Leanna or Panda Lee as she was going as online. Leanna met Phil through the now defunct YouTube message system as a fan, yep. only for Phil to escalate the relationship by providing her with his more private email. By February of 2012, they had become a couple, and Phil saw it fit to introduce her to his audience on Valentine's Day. Phil's audience was more curious about the 11-year age gap, with Phil being 29 years old and Panda Lee being 18. Rumors spread that they began dating when she was underage, but these are unsubstantiated and no evidence of such has ever been brought forward. Thank you, June, for saying that because so many people have said awful things over the years that I'm a groomer and shit. Couldn't be further from the truth for the record. She messaged me to the YouTube DM system when she was already 18, and that was the first time we ever talked. Fuck you. You're a liar. So, for... Day one here on DSP Reacts of reacting to my documentary. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please have a good evening. Those watching on demand, enjoy. I'm going to actually put this into a playlist as well. So this is the way all these streams will be played in a row eventually. And you can just watch them all. Boom, 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 boom. And we do it all again tomorrow night. All right, everyone. Thank you so very much. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow. A hundred dollars, a hundred dollars for Hogan's. Who let the Hogan's out? You! 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 There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is is a mobile game addict. Still has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it by ebay contributions are mandatory but i need your help i am appealing directly to you no decency no respect no common sense no fucking maturity is the guy who just doesn't get reality <laughs>